welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about something that I've talked about in the past and I want to bring it up again because it's nice weather and everybody's getting out on their bikes and I just want to talk about this one more time. So uh, let's talk about it. And what that is, is classes of e-bikes and I want to trade the class levels for speed limit and I've brought this up before and I wanted to bring it up again because I think first of all that the class levels confuse some people and why do we need to have class one class two and class three why don't we just put a flat speed limit and uh, go with that uh, So first of all, if you want to leave a comment on this uh, topic, go ahead and leave it in the comments below, because I know a lot of people have opinions on this. Some people are on my side for changing it over to speed limit, and I know there's a lot of folks too that want to leave it in class level. And I think it would be so much simpler to just um, swap out that class level business for uh, speed and uh, I know, I know, like I say, I'm going to probably hear from some people that are going to say, uh, you're crazy and leave it the way it is. And uh, this is just my opinion. It's not going to change, probably, but I'd like to see it change. And like I say, one of the reasons would be it's confusing. People just want to get on their e-bike and ride. And... Uh, you know, make it just like a car speed limit, whatever the limit you want to make it. I think the limit should be uh, a little bit more than it is, but maybe I'm in the minority there, but I'd like to see it 30 miles per hour or even 35, but I'd be okay with 30. I mean, I, I could live with it being 30. I mean, 28 right now is class three, and that's not bad. But I'm thinking some of the streets that have um, no bike lanes that are like 30 to 35 miles per hour if it was 30 to 35 miles per hour and no bike lanes we could just hop right in the lane with the cars and um, ride along safely in the car lane rather than trying to get passed by cars um, by riding on the shoulder of the road because I think that's more dangerous than just riding along with traffic. And that way we wouldn't be holding traffic up if they allow, allow us to ride right along with traffic. Like I say, when there's no bike lane available, even when there is a bike lane available, it can be sketchy sometimes when cars are whizzing by you because Sometimes they get kind of close, you know, there's not a lot of room there. Or they'll have uh, wide mirrors. Some of the trucks that go by have wide mirrors that stick out a long way. And uh, you can get clipped, you know, if they're a little bit too close to you. And uh, the other thing I'd like to see is just not so much worrying about how much power your bike has or how big a motor so much as as long as you can propel it with pe pedals and you're obeying the speed limit then I don't have a problem with that and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be uh, against that too but um, this is just my opinion and uh, like I say it's not going into the law or anything but I'd like to see uh, see it just go down to uh, speed limit and uh, abolish the uh, class level business. I think it'd make it so much easier for people to understand and make sense of. Um, can you imagine getting stopped at, for saying, uh, okay, uh, were you pedaling? You, no, you weren't pedaling. You know, uh, I was coasting. You know, I was coasting at the time. And, uh, you know, what are the excuses that they're gonna have or you're gonna have? 
this way here if we just make a speed limit then and we all understand it and that's it So let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, are you uh, like myself and would like to see changing of the class levels to speed limit? And on bike trails, shared paths or pedestrian shared paths with uh, cyclists, I'd like to see that. Um, you know, cut cut your speed down to probably most places it's 15. Uh, some might be 20, but I think a lot of times they're 15 or 10. I've seen uh, lots of 10 as well, especially where there's uh, a heavier uh, pedestrian traffic um, areas, which totally makes sense. And like I say, I, I would like to see them eliminate the business about the motor. Like in Oregon here, they say the motor can only be a thousand watts, for example. Well, what if you had a 1500 watt motor, and but you were obeying the speed limit, you know, kind of deal. Um, so, but hey, that's my opinion. It doesn't mean it's going into law or anything. But, uh, yeah, I'm interested in seeing what other people think about um, this topic. Do you agree with me, or would you like to see class levels uh, uh, stay, or would you like to see something else? Maybe make a, leave a comment in the comments. Uh, let me know what ideas you have for this situation. So basically, is it time to abolish, get rid of the class levels and let's just go to a, a speed limit for e-bikes? I like it. I'd like to see it. It's probably not going to happen, but... that's going to do it for this video hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button thank you very much if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you want to leave a comment about class levels versus speed limits go ahead and leave that in the comments below Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. As I just saw a ninja right there. I won't try to race him. So that's going to do it for this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.